Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And as the scriptures say, all right, evil men and seducers will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. All right. Preaching doctrines and gospels that are after their own bellies. All right. Now, these two individuals, formerly of one body in Yahweh Shai, are now on their own. And you can see the title of the video All Animal Flesh Eaters Are Admission to the Lake of Fire. Okay. So, what this does is this puts Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you know, uh, David, okay, you know, Moses, all of the priests. All right. The sons of Aaron, Aaron himself, you know, that puts them in the lake of fire and we'll show you exactly what we mean. All right. And this is the uh, case of a man taking his own belly and forwarded as a doctrine. All right. Because you have brothers who abstain from meat. OK. Now they understand that meat is lawful and they know and understand on, you know, holy days like the Passover. All right. You're commanded to eat meat. And they do such, all right, but they choose to abstain from meat, you know, pretty much on in their day-to-day -day life, which, you know, that's on them. That's between them and the Most High God, Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, all right? But they're not forwarding that as a doctrine, saying, all right, if you eat meat, you're going to be burned in hell, all right? Which you, you're all off, all right, uh, uh, on your understanding of that. All right, pretty much in this video, these two individuals are reading out of the book of Jubilee. All right, as the scriptures say, you can't make this book with another. All right, the books, all right, that are uh, attributed to the to Enoch and, uh, and, and Jasher and all of this, all right, are a bunch of garbage that is compiled, you know, over the years, and you can't associate those books with Jasher and Enoch and this book of Jubilee because they all are contrary to the Holy Scriptures in the book of Jubilee, all right, it, it, it's against the lunar calendar, okay? It has a whole nother calendar, you see, which causes confusion, which is why we tell you all to stick to the script, the Holy Scriptures and the Apocrypha, all right? And our apostles and elders read those books, OK, because you'll have a man that says, well, if you don't never read them, you don't know what's in it. Well, we we have brothers, you know, I myself have looked into the, some of those books. The L, our elders and apostles have read those books and they know and understand and have given us warning to stay away from them. OK, because they will bug you out and you'll start to see things that are contrary. OK, to what the Holy Scriptures say, these men even go so far to say Moses added to the law. And Moses went off. You see? And this is what pride and, and, and being bugged out will do to you. All right? These are a result of the uh, scripture Yahweh Shai said, all right, that men are made twice the child of hell than, than they were before they came into the truth. All right? So they went to one body and got bugged out. They left, and now they're even more bugged out. Okay? Teaching this, this, this doctrine. Okay? That Adam who lived, I believe, 900 and something years, okay, he never ate meat. Now, do you know, all right, every day uh, of Adam's life and what he ate? But all we would have to do is go into the Holy Scriptures and show you that in the law, we're commanded to eat meat, all right? The Heavenly Father in the wilderness gave Israel quail, and what do these individuals say? The Lord was mad at Israel for eating the quail. That's why he got he destroyed them. So the Lord gave the Israelites meat to eat, all right, and, and, and then it was unlawful to eat it, and, and, and that's why they were destroyed. No, their pride and unbelief is why they were destroyed, okay? Now, we're going to play a, a few clips from these individuals' video that uh, a few brothers <laughs> recorded, and then uh, we'll go from there. Now, 
they're saying Abraham didn't eat meat. Okay. And we'll show you that, that that's a damn lie. We know Isaac ate meat. Okay. Now, if you're an individual who chooses to abstain from meat. Okay. Because you saw videos on how meat is treated and how messed up the foods are. That's on you. All right. We get it. All right. But if you're if you if you're going to celebrate the Passover, you understand that you are commanded to eat lamb. Right. Because everything is defiled as a curse. All right. The scripture said our bread, our food will be defiled. Who's in the, who's in control? The wicked. So we know and understand that the way that the uh, particular uh, animals are raised and everything is all messed up. All right. But according to the Holy Scriptures is what we're talking about. All right. It is it is OK to eat meats. All right. Now, in times past, in ancient times. All right. Meat wasn't as accessible as it was today. All right. It was more of a uh, wealthy all right. Uh, uh, you know, for to have milk and meat, you would have to have wealth, your own flocks and things of that sort. All right. But never in the Holy Scriptures is, is it said if you eat meat. All right. Because they'll go to a scripture where it says, uh, uh, you know, life is in the blood, you know, so we can't eat meat because b b blood is, you know, you cook the meat, you cook the blood out, man. That's what was commanded even to the Gentiles when they were coming in in Acts 15. All right. That's a heathenistic practice to eat of blood. Let's keep going. And behold, I am 175 years old. Abraham was 175 years old. And you'll learn as well that Noah, Enosh, you have Methuselah. They all live to be 900, 800, 700 years old. Why? Because they were eating out of the Garden of Eden. They weren't eating meat. They were eating. How were they eating out of the Garden of Eden when Adam was kicked out of the Garden of Eden? Okay. Genesis 3 and 24, just to get the point. So he drove out the man in the, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of, uh, of the tree of life. And that represented immortality. All right. So from the sin of Eve to Adam, pretty much we had to deal with what? Death. We lost our immortal state because of sin. All right. But right here, Adam was drove out from that perfection. He was drove out. All right. Of the garden that was east in Eden and cherubims were placed so that he couldn't get back there. But somehow Enoch, Noah and the rest of them were able to go. No, man, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Let's listen to a little bit more of these guys. The true elements of the Lord, his fruit, his electrolytes, his alkalinity. That's why. And there will not be left any man that eateth blood. When this time comes when the Lord. So they're equating eating blood with eating meat. All right. Returns. Anybody that's choosing to still eat meat. You're going to Sheol. Or that sheddeth the blood of man on the earth. Nor will there be left to him any seed or descendants living under heaven. So, there you so not only are you going to go to hell or Sheol, you won't, your, your seed line will never return to the planet earth again if you eat meat. Now, just imagine the people who are under them and who follow this doctrine. Because when you look at the comment board, Okay, there's a few people commenting. Okay, now you have the brothers commenting. But you got particular people. Well, that's just one person. All right, but I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 Elisheba, 79, most likely, yes, a woman. So just imagine the, 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 the bondage they have men and women under who follow them. All right. <laughs> and you guys be wrong as hell, man. All right. Wrong as hell. Going into the book of Jubilee. Now, all we would have to do really is just go to a few scriptures. Now, they mentioned Abraham. Let's get Genesis, uh, the 18th chapter. They mentioned Abraham. Let's get Genesis 18 and uh, 
seven. Let's start at six. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, make ready quickly the measures of fine meal needed and make cakes upon uh, the hearth. And Abram and Abraham ran into the herd, what's in the herd, and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it to a young man and he hastened to dress it. Okay. And he took butter and milk. And the calf which he had dressed and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, clearly right there. I mean, Abraham, okay, is uh, you know, he 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 eats meat. He gave those angels, all right, or men, meat. Now let's go to Genesis twenty-seven. Okay, with Isaac. We're going to go Abraham, Isaac. Uh, let's go to Genesis 27. Okay. And three. This is Isaac speaking. And he said, start at two. Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now, therefore, take, I pray thee, weapons of thy quiver and thy bow and go out to the field and take me some venison. And make me savory meat. All right. His favorite dish. All right. Such as I love and bring it to me that I may eat that my soul may uh, bless be uh, thee before I uh, die. All right. So, I mean, clearly Abraham ate meat. Isaac ate meat. Noah separated uh, unclean from clean because in the law. All right. In the law, all we have to do is go to Leviticus 11. Okay, Leviticus, the 11th chapter. I'm just jumping from scripture to scripture because, you know, this is uh, Leviticus 11 speaking to the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among the beasts that are upon the earth. Okay, so clearly in our laws, which at the time of Adam, the laws were oral. Okay, our forefathers were the, the these are the meats you can eat. And there's particular meat you can't eat. I mean, we, we, we should all know and understand that. All right. Leviticus 17. Let's see here. Let's see here. 13. I'll come back to that one because it does condemn eating blood, but meat is not condemned to eat. All right. Now, I abstain from meat at times, take weeks off, months off sometimes. But I know and understand, according to the scriptures, I'm not able to teach that doctrine and command Israel and, and, and put a stumbling block before the Israelites because the scriptures talks about that. OK, Leviticus 19 and 14. OK. It says, thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind. Thou shalt fear thy God. I am the Lord. Okay. Now you're causing our people to stumble when you put these kind of doctrines out there. Okay. Because clearly we know and understand you could eat meat according to the Holy Scriptures, man. I mean, goodness gracious. Well, first, let's get first Chronicles. And I'm just jumping to these points to show you. I mean, these guys are off, man. First Chronicles 16 and 1. So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it. And they offered burnt offerings and sacrifices before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Okay. It says, let's see here. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh. And a good piece of flesh. Okay? And a flagon of wine. Because when you would offer those offerings according to the law, all right, you would those those offerings would be eaten by the high priest. 
All right? But here, clearly, David is giving the Israelites meat. Okay? Bread and meat and wine. And that's what they ate. Now, to cut you too as well, dealing with the priest in the book of Leviticus. Let's get the book of Leviticus 6. And 25. It says in 24, And the Lord spake unto Moses, Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is the law of sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, shall the sin offering be killed. All right, before Yahweh, it is most holy. The priest of that, the priest that offereth for sin shall eat it. Okay, you must eat it. In the holy place shall it be eaten in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation. All right, so you, the, 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 the priest who offered those offerings would eat those offerings, man. Okay, uh, Leviticus 10, I believe, goes into that as well. Leviticus, the 10th chapter, in the 12th verse. In Leviticus 10 and 12, and Moses spake unto Aaron and to Eleazar and to Ithamar, his sons that left, take the meat offering that remaineth of the offerings of the Lord made by fire and eat it without leaven besides the altar for the most holy. OK, so that you would eat, OK, the meat offering, man. OK. You would eat the meat offering. You see what I'm saying? That's according to the Holy Scriptures, man, that the priest would eat, you know, particular of, of the particular offerings that were made. OK, the priest would eat of those offerings. OK, Yahweh Shai himself in Matthew the uh let's see here matthew 14 and nineteen and he commanded the multitude to sit down on grass and took five loaves and two fishes looking up to heaven he blessed and break and gave loaves unto his disciples all right, and to the multitude. Okay, so they ate bread and fish. That was one of his miracles. Uh, Leviticus 24, I mean, Luke 24. So I just wrote a bunch of scriptures down, you know. I mean, it's, it's pr plenty more. I mean, Luke 24 and 41. And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, all right, and of an honeycomb. And he took it and did eat before them. So Yahawashai ate, all right, uh, uh, meat and honey, all right? He ate a uh, lamb on the Passover, okay? We were commanded when we were coming out of Egypt on that Passover, Okay, to eat, all right, the perfect lamb. The Lord gave us quail in the wilderness. Okay, now it's understandable if one wants to abstain from meats, okay, and eat more grains, but that's defiled as well. Eat more grains and, and uh, um, uh, you know, plants and herbs, but all of that is defiled as well. All right, so we get it. But ultimately, what you're doing is fulfilling First Timothy's the fourth chapter, okay? First Timothy's chapter four, and let's see here. First Timothy's chapter four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Forbidding to marry, and that's these guys. Their conscience is seared with a hot iron. I mean, and they, they, I mean, when you look at them, they like determined in that doctrine. They're like hardcore. Like they, like they, 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 a hundred percent believe their own point, and they're going all the way off. Forbidding to marry, the semen retention doctrine, and commanding to abstain from meats. 
okay, meets, okay, which God have created to be received with thanksgiving, okay, and how do, where do we find the meats that God have created to be received with thanksgiving? In the law, all right, of them which believe and know the truth, so this is speaking of those who believe and know the truth, if you believe and know the truth, you understand we have dietary laws, okay, for every creature is good, of God is good, and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Now, what does sanctified mean? For you Christians who use this, okay? Now we got to get on y'all for a minute. Sanctified, okay? Hagiazo, to render, acknowledge, or to be venerable or hollow. What is venerable? Accept it, all right? According to the law, man. Okay, venerable, accorded a great deal of respect, especially because of age, wisdom, character. Okay, so it's venerable to eat. Okay, according to the Holy Scriptures, it's hallowed. What does hallowed mean? Meaning it's it's clean. All right, hallowed means holy. All right, so there's particular meats you can eat. According to the truth, according to the law, there's particular things you can sacrifice according to the law. And there's particular things you can't eat and particular things you can't sacrifice. It says to separate from profane things. What is profane me outside of the temple? All right. And dedicated to the most high consecrated to purify. OK. So basically the, the meats that are Levitically unclean, I mean, Levitically clean. You have men teaching doctrines saying that you can't eat them. And the scripture said that in the latter times, you're going to see this. Even the chicken and turkey doctrine. Where men will take a picture of a turkey vulture, which has nothing to do with the domesticated turkey. They only look alike by their head because they both have that red head. But they'll put a picture of a turkey vulture up, which nobody's eating no goddamn turkey vulture, man. That's not even uh, who, 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 wh where can you go and buy turkey vulture? Vultures were not made to be eaten. So they'll take a picture of a turkey vulture and say, see, our people are eating a, a unclean fowl, which those birds are made to help clean the earth. They're unclean to eat. But when you go to the domesticated turkey, it's in the same family as chicken. It's in the same family as quail and it's lawful to eat. OK, but you may see a video on how they're raised. And you may be like, Ugh, I don't want nothing to do with that. That's on you. But you can't teach a doctrine. You can't establish a doctrine and say it is a law that if you do eat these things, you're going to die. OK, and you're going off when you do that. If you decide to stay away from chicken and turkey, cool. But nobody is eating turkey vulture. And when you do do these videos, you always show a picture of the turkey vulture, which has nothing to do with the domesticated turkey. The wild, it has nothing to do with it. They're two different species. A turkey doesn't swarm around in circles over dead things and then swarm down and eat it. Okay. And, and, and if you want to talk about the diet of something, go look at the, you eat, you eat salmon, don't you? Because they'll be like, well, Look what chicken eat. Look what cows eat. That's well, first of all, that's in this society and how Esau and how this world raises them. OK. Look how Jake has been uh, 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 cultured to eat. <laughs> that's not how we're supposed to eat. All right. Eating all types of shit. But go look. Jake eats salmon, right? Because those same niggas will eat salmon. Well, go look up the diet of a salmon. Go look up the diet of a salmon. And certain clean fish you eat. <laughs> and tell me, is that is, 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 does that make them unclean to eat? At the end of the day, we got it. The, the, the world is being ran and operated in a, in a wicked state anyway. Everything's out of course. OK, but this is what the scripture is talking about. Guys like you. OK, you, 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 you're forbidding men to marry. Not you guys, but you have those with the semen retention doctrine. Now, in, in, in spirit, sometimes it is good to abstain from sex. Sometimes it is good to, 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 to totally separate yourself from particular things. 
right? But you cannot make it a law. You do those things according to your spirit. Now, of course, on the Sabbath, you don't have sex. I'm going to take, you know, but as, as, as the scripture said, sometimes you got to get your mind together. You, you, you abstain from sex, right? But you can't teach a doctrine that if you have sex, you're, you're, you're going off. You're giving up all your man power, brother. And they be close to the screen, you know, and they, and they be dead serious. Like, you know, man, try two years without sex. And you be having brothers walking around strong. You, you shake their hand. He's like, damn, bro, you all right? Bro, tense. He needs some. He need, he need to release. And that's OK. <laughs> then you have this other one, because when we see these videos where Jake be making these off. And I have a video going all into the whole chicken and turkey. If you need that, I'll post it because Jake be going off. You have people on the comment board. Oh, I was conflicted about this. I needed this. Because people are being held in bondage and captivity to these particular doctrines. And they're walking around on the earth and they're already in hell. Now, what is hell without chicken? Like, how could we? <laughs> like, come on, man. You're going to take chicken away? Y'all dudes are crazy, man. And yeah, we know and understand it's all, everything's messed up, but you can't create a doctrine and teach this uh, uh, garbage and then, and then go into the book of Jubilee, all right, to, 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 to pretty much over, over Trump what the heavenly father wrote in his laws. We just read it. It says every creature is good, all right, because it is sanctified by the word of God. It's speaking of the, uh, the creature's that the heavenly father hallowed according to his law. And we, we just showed you in the book of Leviticus, the 11th chapter. And this was done off the top of the head. It could have been a little bit more in order and put together, but hey, the hell with those niggas, man. Leviticus, the 11th chapter. Okay. And, and you have the clean beast. All right. So you can't make a doctrine and say you can't eat. You got Jake saying you can't eat honey. So pretty much Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, okay, Yahweh Shai himself, okay, they're all going to be in the lake. David, the disciples, you eat fish, you eat any kind of flesh, you, 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 you going to hell. Why don't you all just eat what you eat <laughs> and leave J and leave it alone? Yeah, Yahweh Shah is going to burn in the lake since he ate meat. Anyway, man, I just wanted to touch on this. I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. It's no, it's, I mean, what more do you say? What more? I mean, what more can you say, man? I mean, and we could have went to various more scriptures. So, Salakia for the rush, but I just had to touch on this, man. Shalom.